Ooh, that tickles! Oh no, I thought I got away with it. Oh, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Replay The Simpsons Game. In the last episode, we uh, had a little bit of a run-in with Lard Lad brought to life, who then started to destroy the whole of Springfield. So we put an end to him, um, and I thought I'd come back this episode as Homer and Marge, husband and wife, because I'm a bit sick of Bart and Lisa. Um, but yeah, we're on to the next level of the game, which is where it starts to get uh, quite fun, quite uh, quite interesting, if it isn't already. But um, yeah, it's time we head back into the game engine as we start the level Bargain Bin. Oh my god, it's the mothership! This must be the level boss for this part of the game! The boss! Quick, everyone look busy! Look, the hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire. Hey, Kodos, that ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Screw fighting one family. Why don't we just blow up the whole town? They can't stop us from doing that. Sounds good to space me. Something, these space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jiggy right? Sorry, the cheat guy doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat the internet. Uh, of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating, is there anything it can't do? Check it out. They have a walkthrough for a game called The Simpsons Game. Bartman, eating contest, alien invasion, slaughtering dolphins. It's describing everything we've done all day. But what does it say we have to do next? Nothing, I hope. Well, it says that we need to find... Move it! I want to play solitaire. We're in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. Ah! Yeah, all right, fine, I'm a video game guy. Now, can I ask a question? If this is a video game, where do we put the quarters? <gasps> oh my God, it's a nerd. That's right, the nerdiest nerd in the computer verse. <laughs> Dad, that's Will Wright, designer of Sim City and The Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely. And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them. They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island. I'm Marge. You can't do this! Of course I can. I'm Will Wright, bitch. And pretty soon, when there's a new, better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too. Ha 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 ha! Stop him, Homer! Nerd! Okay, I'm just going to pause the level really quickly. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yes, I'm back. Um, yes, this is a timed mission, um, but I think I'm probably going to lose because I'm going to be focusing on getting the collectibles and stuff, and I don't want to rush. So we'll probably, we'll probably lose this first go, but um, it is timed, so just to let you know. Anyway, yeah, this is Bargain Bin. Look at Will right over there on his little... Uh, Oh, they oh they've got a name those Sims diamonds haven't they like plum bum or something? Am I making that up? Is it anything like that? Plum plum plumness plumness num number wang I don't know. Um. Anyway yeah we've only got three minutes to this level but uh oh look at them 
poor pixelated Simpsons. When I first played this level, I thought that game that they're in, the one with Krusty or the Machete or whatever, um, I thought that was the game that I eventually ended up Let's Playing, which was um, Krusty's Funhouse, but no. Uh, there is no game existing uh, with Krusty <laughs> wielding a knife on the front, so I was just completely wrong. Anyway, let's get Anything started with this. Name is stupid, except it's quite nice that um, Will Wright actually came and did a cameo for this game. This was before he left EA, so that's why he's in this game. And he worked with Maxis with the sim stuff, obviously. Uh, right, so we've got to smash through here. Smash these freaking boxes. And before we head down there, I'm going to hook onto the section up here. And grab Bart's first collectible. While I invent other games with Sim in the title. Sim hot dog. Sim garbage truck. Sim duck farm. Um, <laughs> there's not many collectibles because it's such a short level. Uh, so that's not too bad. Oh man, I really am wasting a lot of time though. Let's Stopping grab a bottle cap there. During time to puzzle. Not logical. Does not compute. I wonder if you can hit Will Wright with your... No, I don't want to hit... Oh, I, don't... I hit the target. I wanted to hit Will Wright. Uh, if we go right straight after that, you can find another collectible for Bart. I remember when I cared about picking up collectibles. Good times. Hey, there's nothing wrong with picking up collectibles, Will. Someone use your joystick to save us! Real okay, this is going to look really random, but I actually just cut to start the level again to try and make up a bit more time. <laughs> and, and I forgot there's actually a cliche in this level. If you die, it's a chasm death. Expect a plagiarism lawsuit from Wiley E. Coyote. Oh no, Warner Brothers, don't please don't sue. Um, was it Warner Brothers or is it Hanna-Barbera? I can't remember. Um, no, it definitely is Warner Brothers. So yeah, I started the level again to try and make up more time, and uh, <laughs> I think it sort of worked. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the Sim stuff. So I think one of the stupid Sim games that Will Wright mentions is okay. Sim Sandwich. And it kind of reminded me that I actually made sort of like a sandwich game. There's a poster of it. I think I've missed it though. Oh, it's it's just over there at the back. Um, oh, actually, there's one right there as well. Uh, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I made it for part of my university um, degree with a friend. We made a game called Sims uh, Sandwich Stacker, even. And it even sort of looks a bit similar, the, the fake the fake box art they made for it. Let me show you uh, as I grab... Wait a minute. There's a bottle cap here. Oh, come on. No, stop circling it. There we go. When's my turn to play? Behold my incredible beauty. Knowledge is power. It's stupid. Alright, let's float across here. There we go, we've got Homer's 8-bit duff trophy. Mmm. Pixels. And with that we got uh, more power meter. Or a, a higher power meter for I remember when the I family. Don't fall off the edge, Homer. Good times. Bart can just grab a hook across and grab that one. Oh, and look at that. We get the Krusty Crappy Cartridge Classic Trophy. <laughs> Krusty Crappy Cartridge Classics Trophy. That's great. And that is... Is that Pac-Man behind... Behind Krusty there? That definitely looks like an old-fashioned video game box art. I like that a lot. Cool. Uh, yeah, can you sit there? Look. Sim... Ah! Sim Sandwich... Like, the whole game that we made at university was all about stacking up sandwich ingredients to, to make the... It was a bit like Cooking Mama or um, Diner Dash, making the right orders for people. And I don't know, it just, it just reminded me of that really random tangent. Anyway, where's Homer? We need to get up here. We've only got 29 seconds to go. We should be able to do it, though. It's literally just around this corner. Oh, it's here as well. Deluxe Edition as well. Looks a lot like the uh, SimCity 4 cover, which is obviously what it's um, parodying. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. Hurry up. Hurry up. We've got to pull this lever. We can do it. 
Oh, that's real original. Ah, <sighs> and we got another time trial. Uh, we got another <laughs> cliche, even time trial. If your game's boring, just add a stopwatch. <sighs> that's a really good idea because it makes me stressed. You're not so great. This isn't right. Who put you up to this? What's with those jerks at EA? They hate me, you know. You're all jealous of me. Jealous, I told you. Oh, look at that, we did it in 3 minutes, 58. I know I messed up a bit there, kind of cutting back, but um, yeah, we did it. Thank goodness for that. I just hate timed missions, man. It's just, oh, I don't like it. Anyway, we got all the collectibles, and we got both trophies and both cliches. Good stuff. Wow, this is like those places where people used to see movies before video piracy was invented. Oh, oh. Hey, thanks for helping us save our 8-bit selves. I had to do so many double jumps, I'm really tired. Do you like donuts too? Sure do. You want one? Um. Pixely. You're all right, old weird version of me. Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game too will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Bart, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, the Simpsons game is great with its unique upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then. Damn this godforsaken place. Video game making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die. Each death more painful than the last. <laughs> but what can we do? We're just highly rendered pixels in a universe we can't control. Even as we speak, Springfield is being destroyed by a hackneyed alien invasion premise. Oh, somehow it's not a cliche when it's happening to you. Yeah, we don't even know who's but to kick. There is one place you can go. The mansion of the creator. He created all of these worlds. Maybe he can end this pointless cycle of destruction. The creator, eh? I'm gonna triple combo punch his fat, nerdy face. Karate! Don't have a cow, man. You still say that, right? I hope so. The only way to get through the gate is to go into each of the new Simpsons games being developed by the creator. Once you're inside each game, you need to find a key card. Only the four key cards will combine to open the gate. Key cards? That is the lamest video game BS I've ever heard. Why aren't we doing something cool, like collecting multicolored shard keys? That would be totally different and awesome! Cowabunga! Let's get to it, video gang. Let's go give this creator a piece of our minds. And save Springfield! Hey, look at that. Congratulations, your family's health has increased. Good stuff. So here we are, back in the game engine. Sort of a... Another little mini hub. Level hub for the game. Um, and before we go speak to Frank, I just thought that's a really interesting cutscene now. So many years later from when this game first came out. What Lisa said about how, like, when the Xbox 720 comes out and the PS4, which obviously they now have... Um, you know what we're going to be forgotten and it's true it's true there's been no simpsons games since then and this game has sort of been forgotten oh what's what's happened so what's happened to this franchise with video games i don't know um and it's true though like even with them joking about like all their old simpsons games being forgotten they kind of have um Especially the ones very early on, like the nes ones and things like that most of them have kind of been forgotten obviously ones like simpsons hit and run not so much but where is where is the new Simpsons game to make this one truly forgotten, eh? Where is it, EA? Uh, don't tell me the Simpsons tapped out, because that doesn't count. Makes me angry. Um, but I'm going to keep rambling for a little bit, because these... These 8-bit Simpsons characters are actually really funny. <laughs> if you just hang around this area and listen to what they say, Bart, where are your pixels? Um, sometimes they have some really great little one-liners. How many lives do we have left? There was one that Lisa said the other day, uh, or the other day, a little while ago. I love books, the environment, and boys named Corey. Uh, I'm the smart one. No, I'm not going to make it do it on cue, but um, yeah, 
fundamental. There are some really good little lines here, and um, I know it's just nice to have a little bit of uh, life in this level hub. I don't think... Were they here in the PS2 version? I don't think they were. Even better is you can beat them up. Die, Marge! She's dead. She's dead. Um, there's also some very good posters on the wall, like Mortal Kombat Deceptions. Oh, no, sorry. Moral Combat Deceptions. Commando and Conquer. Oh, Project Shelby. We've seen that one before. Uh, where's the other ones? You may be smooth, but I know your trouble. There are actual levels we're going to play at some point, like Big Super Happy Fun Fun Game and Ground Theft Scratchy. Looking forward to that one. Um, but then we've got Dead Waste of Time, <laughs> Mega Mole Man X, Screwed Up, um, Snore, which probably would have been better than the actual game Spore. Look at the little weird Marge bacteria. <laughs> Sitar Hero featuring the hit songs Karma Chameleon, Pour Some Curry On Me, Pour Some Curry On Me, Chakra Khan, awesome. and Shankar Groove Thing. That's just some nice little details here. I love looking around this sort of stuff. Anyway, let's end this episode off by actually talking to Frink and getting some new character abilities. How's that sound? Hey, Frinky boy. Oh, and look, there's his little lover as well. The Koopa. I hope they're uh, I hope they're happy. Oh, I need to be Homer. Where are you? There we go. What's all the money being sucked out? Is that all the money that the games are generating? Not sure. Right, hey, Frank. Uh, now for some learning. Hooray. Right, so he just spits out a manual. And we've unlocked Gummy Homer. Shoot gummy grenades at objects and enemies. Let me get a little tutorial for each. So press RB. And then, yeah. There we go. I guess this is, is this meant to be a bit like Gummy Venus de Milo? <laughs> I don't know if that's a reference to that at all. Uh, who needs to speak next? Maybe this place would be a nightmare. <laughs> I am to fill your brain box with the packing peanuts. Lisa has unlocked Lisa's lightning and freeze. Use these powerful elements against enemies. Oh right, Buddha statue time. Uh, you are no longer terrible. So tap B to strike with lightning. Beautiful. And then A to freeze them. That was great. Well, and then you can pick up these blocks as well. So we'll be using these for like platforming puzzles at some point. Right. Now it's Bart's turn. Bart has Bartman's wrist rocket. New slingshot has better range and does more damage. And also the super cape. You can, uh, Bartman can now fly farther and longer. Oh, we don't get to test out Bart, so I guess that's kind of obvious <laughs> what we can do with him. And then Marge needs to talk. Last up, it's Marge. Now for a tutor. I'm the tutor. Marge's mega megaphone, Marge's blowback, beg your pardon, is now stronger. All right, that's enough practice. Just stop it. Now let's see you apply your new skill. Worst video game cliche ever. Wow, we're getting all sorts of stuff this episode, aren't we? So now we've got another cliche. Lame tutorials. Oh, I'm too lazy to read the manual. I need help. Wow, wow. I do. Can we go to Mount Splashmore? Can we go to Mount Splashmore? Why did I say that? Oh, that was one of the lines I wanted them to say earlier. I love that. A little reference to, um, oh, God knows what that episode was called. But, yeah, the episode where they go to Mount Splashmore. And Homer gets stuck inside the um, <laughs> the slide. Um, so yeah, now we get the choice of what levels to play. We can do them any order we want. Level Quest, Medal of Homer, Big Super Happy Fun Fun Game, and Ground Theft Scratchy Blood Island. I think we're probably just going to go left to right. So next episode we'll start with Never Quest and then eventually end on uh, Ground Theft Scratchy. And then eventually um, head to the author. And if we wanted to go back to Springfield, it's through here. And that is the level called Invasion Springfield. Anyway, I'm rambling now. This episode's probably long enough. Next episode, we're heading to the fantasy land of NeverQuest. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.